Natural science is a branch of science which deals with the physical world, like physics, chemistry, geology, biology. Humans have been using science as a way to know more about the world, so it should be reliable, right? The term reliable has different meanings. If reliable means to be trusted, then yes, science must be trusted. And it is trusted, because humans use science as a justification for almost everything. But if reliable means consistency, then should science be reliable? My real life situation is of a study that discovered how a substance used for chemistry for decades turns out to not exist. This study involves the use of various compounds of sulfur. They also use a Raman spectrometer, which is a device that uses laser to energetically excite target molecules, allowing it to detect what specific chemical is present. From this, they discovered that there were no traces of sulfur in an aqueous solution and concluded that there is no longer any plausible experimental evidence for sulfur in an aqueous solution. This real-life situation led me to these sets of questions. How often does science change? Does the change of scientific theories make the previous theory unreliable? Were there repercussions from this falsification? How does empirical evidence play a part in how we see the world? If science keep on changing, to what extent can we trust it? From this, I was able to create my knowledge question. To what extent must science be consistent? This is significant because science is the basis of everything in this world and humans use science as their basic fundamental knowledge of it. So understanding more about the consistency of science will help people judge the reliability of certain scientific claims. The area of knowledge that I will be exploring is natural sciences. The ways of knowing is first, logic, how different groups of people have different views on what makes science reliable. Second is reason, the ability to use logical deduction to produce a valid conclusion. And third, sense perception, the importance of empirical evidence in natural sciences. My claim is that in the natural sciences, consistency does not determine reliability. The world is ever-changing, which means that it keeps moving forward and advancing. As the world progresses, the technology we have progresses and advances along with it. These will then aid in discovering new knowledge of the natural world, which may differ to what was once discovered. What makes natural sciences trusted by humanity is empirical evidence. Because of this, in the eyes of scientists, any new discovery has to be taken into consideration in order to make the science more reliable, even if it ends up altering the theory. The act of falsification is highly commended because it's essentially testing the scientific theory, and the more the theory is tested, the more it is reliable. When something is falsified, rather than being seen as a step backwards, it's seen as a progress and a new discovery instead, because falsifying something means that something new in the scientific field has been discovered that's proven to be more reliable than the previous one. This is why falsification is deemed as something positive and indicates how science is not consistent because any new discovery has to be acknowledged. An example is the black swan theory developed by Karl Popper. This is an example of how inconsistency of a scientific theory made it more reliable. It was first theorized that all swans are white because that was the only empirical evidence that was provided, but it was then falsified because no empirical evidence arose which dispro disproved the previous theory. This is an obstruction towards the consistency of the theory, but in turn, it made the new theory more reliable. This shows how consistency do not equate to reliability and how changing a scientific theory provides new knowledge, which makes humans one step closer to knowing more about the world. This being said, in the eyes of science users, such as students and teachers, they see it in a different perspective. The statistics and all the empirical evidence is not top priority. It's essentially the extent of that theory being applicable. This suggests how knowledge for them doesn't have to be true in order to be practical. This roots to the inconvenience of remodeling paradigms. To put it briefly, people don't like change. Because once a theory changes, it will create a ripple effect on all the other advances and further discoveries rooted from that, and ultimately forcing users of science to remodel their paradigm. This is an inconvenience that many choose to avoid. Sometimes, falsifications occurring in science may be of something so specific that it wouldn't have much of a difference. But other times, it may also be of something major, something that's a base or a root of a lot of other developments and further discoveries. This means that there will be a major paradigm shift and maybe a remodel as well. This scientific theory revolves around the model of the cell membrane, but after 37 years, it was found out that it was false. This is an example of a major falsification that altered many further developments rooted from the original theory. But this situation brings up a question of how the theory was still applicable for further scientific developments even before it was falsified. 
to science users, this indicates that the falsification is not enough reason to change their views of science, making them stick to the consistency of the previous theory. This shows how even though there are empirical data disproving it, it doesn't change the fact that it was once a credible theory for a long time, proving how it should still be applicable, thus making remodeling their paradigms redundant. And ultimately, suggesting that falsifying something doesn't necessarily have to make the previous theory unreliable, it's just less reliable. So, to a certain extent, when something in the scientific field has been consistent, it implies that there is merit to the theory which allowed it to be applicable because it wouldn't have been deemed as a theory otherwise, since everything in science needs empirical evidence. So to some extent, especially in the science user's perspective, consistencies in science can be judged as something reliable because they tend to look at the big picture. In contradiction to that, scientists believe that in order to make more developments, it will come down to the details. Even though there were empirical data supporting the previous theory, it will only be truly reliable when it's the one supported by the most empirical data. This is why a falsification in science makes theories more reliable. Even though there were empirical data supporting the previous theory, it will only be truly reliable when it's the one supported by the most empirical data. This is why a falsification in science makes theories more reliable. So even though falsifying a theory may have many complications in terms of remodeling of paradigms, it's ultimately getting us one step closer to discovering truths about the natural world. The inconvenience isn't a reason to deprive science from the truth. So to a certain extent, science needs to be inconsistent since sticking to consistency just for the sake of convenience will make science less reliable. This is because of how the world is ever changing. Because of this, it's a given that not progressing along with the world and staying consistent just for the sake of convenience will in turn make it untrustable. Going back to the real life situation, this situation is one which supports both perspectives. Through science users' eyes, the level of specificity of the altering of theory made it pointless for them to let it shift and remodel their paradigm because this falsification has no direct or major impact in the natural world. This shows how falsifying a theory doesn't necessarily make the previous theory unreliable. Though in the eyes of scientists, no matter how small or specific something is, when it has been falsified, it's an indication that this discovery is something more reliable than the last one. Even after falsifying it, they're still open to the idea of the theory to be changed again. Given by the statement, although it's pointed out that you cannot ever prove that a chemical species doesn't exist, there's simply no credible evidence that this particular ghostly ion does exist in an aqueous solution. This suggests how science will change accordingly with the progression of the world and should not be restricted to staying the same. In conclusion, the extent to which science needs to be consistent depends on the perspective looked from. Although, consistency should not be enforced when the motive is self-oriented because convenience should not dictate the progression of science. This has to be taken into account due to the implications it may have. One implication is the reliability of medicine. When concepts used in medicines are falsified, then it should always be taken into consideration because lives are at stake, which is why the convenience of maintaining the paradigm should not be the driving force of keeping science consistent. Thank you for watching.